Our next application are for the knee collateral ligaments, so either medial or lateral. The indication we would use this application for are in the instances of collateral ligament instabilities or acute collateral ligament injury. These kind of injuries we see most commonly in contact sports where there's a tackle element, but we can also see it in those winter sports such as skiing, where there's a change of direction and those collateral ligaments work a little bit harder and are a little bit more prone to injury. For this application, we're going to use zinc oxide tan, we're also going to use fixation tape, and we're going to use some EAB to cover off the application. From a pre-screening perspective, again, we'll have developed our clinical picture from our assessment, but we may also want to use ligament instability testing or a single leg squat, for example, to measure the level of instability during function. For athlete position, my preference is to have the athlete perched on the end of a massage table, feet on the ground with the knee slightly flexed to about 10-15 degrees. For this application, we're going to use two anchors, one on the quad and one on the calf. We're going to use fixation tape as a primary base of these anchors. We apply the first fixation tape anchor just above the knee on the quadriceps, about five centimeters from the top of the patella. The second anchor we're going to apply approximately five centimeters below the inferior pole of the patella and avoiding the head of the fibula, also using fixation tape. As we said with our ankle instability taping, for these anchors, if you angle the tape slightly downwards, when you wrap around the shape of the body of the belly of the muscle, then the tape applies a little bit easier and comes back to meet the anchor at the start. The next stage of our application are the zinc oxide fan strips. We're going to use the medial joint line again as our reference point because this is the part of the medial collateral ligament that we want to protect. Our first strip with zinc oxide we apply from posterior to anterior from the upper to lower anchors fanning across the center of that joint line. Our second application goes from the anterior to posterior from again from upper to lower anchors again using that medial joint line as our central reference point. The last piece of our zinc oxide fan is a perpendicular strip directly downwards from the upper to lower anchors, again using that medial joint line as a reference point. So in the end, we've got three strips using the central part of the medial joint line as our reference point, protecting the medial collateral ligament. If that was an application for the lateral joint line, for the lateral collateral ligament, then that reference point would be the lateral joint line, and our application would be the same, but on the lateral aspect of the knee. Like we do with many of our applications, we're going to close it off using EAB. In this instance, we've got a couple of choices. If we want to use a little bit more of a resilient tape, then we're going to use the non-terrible EAB. Or if we want just something a little bit lighter, we're going to use terrible EAB. It's really up to you and your preference as a clinician and also the athlete in front of you in the application and what we're trying to achieve. When finishing off the application, we're going to close it off in a figure of eight. We start at the medial aspect of the upper anchor on the quadriceps. We wrap down and around the medial part of the knee, around the back of the calf, follow up the lateral aspect of the knee, finishing on the anchor that we started. We apply this a number of times, and when we have, we've closed off the application and ensured that the application that we've applied is protected and the athlete is more comfortable. Like we do with all of our applications, we want to test how the athlete feels with it in place. In this instance, I'll get my athlete back on the ground, I'll get them to do their single leg squat or whatever pre-screening activity you got them to do, ensuring that their function is good, but also you've added some stability by having the tape in place. If the athlete is happy and you're happy, then they're ready to go.